up. Archery to hop. Real nigga shit. Modern War Negro. Real nigga talking. Sit your ass down. Batman versus Superman. Flash versus Green Lantern. The Joker versus Lex Luthor. These are all battles that are possible. And injustice. Gods Among Us. The game we're talking about today. Woo! Time for a detour. Those are gathered here are the elite. The best and bravest soldiers this planet offers. Yours is a heroic mission. It requires that you transcend your humanity, embody the highest One Earth principles. Obedience, order, control. But those who defy the High Counselor's commands, they will be executed without qualm or hesitation. Man loves to hear himself talk. Firing squad, assemble! I don't think so. Now then, Sinestro, enough talk. Story. Who reading a book? Injustice is the tale of Batman and all his amigos being caught up in this interdimensional war. The story starts off with the Joker trying to blow up Metropolis with a nuke that he acquired, and as Batman and the rest of the Justice League rush to stop him from detonating it, you're teleported to an alternate universe where Superman is an evil dictator who rules with an iron fist. So this forces the Justice League to figure out what's going on in this alternate universe and how to stop this evil Superman because evil Superman, he doesn't just have plans for their universe, but he also has plans for the other universes. And honestly, I was surprised how well written the story was in this game. I mean, it's all told through detailed cutscenes with great voice acting. And just like in MK9, you'll play as a variety of characters throughout the story in which there'll be cutscenes that set up the fight, and then it beautifully transitions into the fight itself, which gets you hyped to kick some ass. I think Netherrealm has once again set the standard for campaigns and fighting games, and I feel like something like this should be in every fighter. Not up to this. How about an arrow up your ass? Gameplay. Injustice runs on the same engine as MK9, so if you're curious to why this resembles the last Mortal Kombat, that's why. But trust me when I say that they've done enough to make this game feel like its own game. First thing that I really liked about it was the game is very accessible to every player's level. I personally suck at fighters and the developers answered my call by adding something so subtle but I feel like it needs to be in every fighting game from here on out. That's the ability to add combos to the screen or as I like to call it a little cheat sheet for us forgetful types. I was able to learn the characters fighting styles a lot quicker this way and that's very important because every superhero and villain has their own unique fighting style. Each level is interactive as well, and what's cool is, depending on what character you fight as, the character will interact with the objects differently. So let's say you're playing as Superman, and there's a car on the street. Well, Superman is strong, so he's gonna pick up the car and throw it at a motherfucker. But Nightwing, he'll do a backflip off the car, get behind the enemy, and then you can hit him with a combo. But, uh, <laughs> the environments, they're also destructible. One punch will send your enemy flying through the air to another arena. Now, if this isn't your thing, no worries, because you can always turn off the interactive environments and just fight old school. Now as you fight, know that every character is unique. Flash, he's so fast that he can slow down time, Wonder Woman has a sword and a shield stance, and these powers are all controlled by one button and have a temporary recharge period. It adds an extra layer over the standard combos and special moves, as well as it pays homage to each hero and villain. Now if you're worried about game modes, I'm here to say, this game delivers. Not only is there a 6 to 8 hour campaign, but there's also an arcade mode where each character has its own cutscene at the end, kind of like in the old school fighters, as well as the Star Labs mode, which is a collection of mini games. The online, it works smoothly, so you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here. What I hated. No sweat. Now my first complaint for this game goes towards the characters. Some of the characters in the game are a bit OP. 
Deathstroke, Deathstroke, Aquaman, everyone online, they just play as Slade and they stand there and they shoot his gun like Cable and Iron Man in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So just be aware that it's a lot of spammers online that could ruin your experience. Also, there's something in a game called wager matches where during a fight, the fighters will wager some of their special meter and the person who has the most wins and regenerates some of the health. I just thought this shit was completely pointless and it upset the balance of the game just a tad bit. But my next two complaints, they're just nitpicking. And uh, the Joker, I thought it was weird that he isn't voiced by Mark Hamill. And for those of y'all who don't know, he voiced the Joker in the cartoons as well as the Arkham video games. It was just weird hearing that bad impression from whoever voiced the Joker. Oh, and why is Wonder Woman so manly looking in this game? The bitch looks like she cracked walnuts with a strong ass jaw. All right, moving on. Final verdict. Swag, 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 swag. I mean, the few flaws that I found in this game are pretty much what you find in every other fighting game, so it really wasn't that much of a deal breaker for me. And if you look at what you get for $60, I feel like there's a lot of meat on the bone, and that's why I'm gonna recommend you buy this game. I mean, for shit's sake, who doesn't like to see superheroes fight? Unless you're like one of those one of those grown ass people who think they're too cool to have an imagination, or you didn't have a childhood and you didn't like superheroes, but if, you, if you're one of those people, Fuck you. So what do you think? Did you find this review helpful? Doubt that. But in case you did, give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. You know all that bullshit. Also subscribe via text message or if you want your music or your instrumental feature in one of my videos, the link for all that is in the description box below. Thanks for watching you guys, but the city needs me. My homie said he up, pick me up if I can cover his gas And with the quickness, I gotta come up with the cash I ask my moms for the cash If I take it all the trash, throw the kid to any bus And towards the door, I dash Of course I laugh, telling the stories to my homies We always keep it real, thumbs down if you phony But uh, I'm a smooth, real cool type of guy And if you're trying to find the ride, then you use this type of guy Rule number one, hey pay attention, I understand Cause if you're trying to find a ride, make sure you got a plan Find a ride and a backup, please have a backup Cause if the 